Luke Glenn, hi. There were multiple protests today in downtown, including one outside of City Hall during that council meeting. Many say they wanted to go inside but couldn't due to capacity, so they marched through the streets calling loudly for their resignation. This is what LA looks like. This is what LA looks like. Large groups rallied outside of LA City Hall during the first council meeting since racist remarks from now resigned President Nuri Martinez were leaked. We're saying no to hate. We're saying you don't represent us. We're also questioning all of the motives on all of the votes uh, that you've done up to this point. Some demonstrators blocked Main Street. Many tell me there was a mix of emotions, outrage, disappointment, but also a sense of pride. I was happy, though, to see so many people from different backgrounds come out and protest against this. Get them out! Community activists traveled from neighboring counties, concerned that what happens in LA will set the tone for what can happen elsewhere. We're here in unity, and that's what we should be preaching to the youth of tomorrow. Nuri Martinez said she's taking a leave of absence after she announced she's stepping down as council president, but people say that's not enough. Hell no! You will not stay on city council. They want her out, along with council members Kevin De Leon and Gil Cedillo, who were also part of that meeting that was supposed to be about redistricting. Now people are calling for the state attorney general to investigate. We are very concerned about the possibility that these council members and this labor leader were beyond racially insensitive, that they were seeking to disenfranchise the black vote in this city. They have never been representing our communities. People, that's why we feel that it's very strongly that we need to start voting around values and not around identity politics. The calls for resignation are loud and clear from various political leaders and community members, but one resident showed up to defend De Leon. He said he was sorry. He should move on and, and learn from it. The president of the Los Angeles Urban Policy Roundtable spoke out today, too. He said they set off a lot of anger and tension in the community, and he challenged De Leon Cedillo and Martinez to host a Black Latino summit with community leaders, he said, to try and undo the damage whether they resign or not. Reporting live in downtown, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.